Hello, I'm Kimberly Acosta. Welcome to the Native News Update on Wednesday, August 18th. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at our website, IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native News sources. The Red Diva Projects has released a new single called The Road Forward, which is a mini vocal epic with complex indigenous harmonies featuring some of Indian Country's finest performers, which include Jennifer Kreisberg, Perfe, Lila Gilde, Michelle St. John, Oz12, Rich Carlson, and Russell Wallace. All proceeds support a scholarship for children of missing and murdered Aboriginal women. You can download this single now for a great song and a great cause for just $1.99 at cdbaby.com. For more information on the project, you can check out reddiva.ca. The University of Rochester in Rochester, New York has started an effort to attract and retain Native American students. The university held a summit that brought together faculty, students, administrators, and Native American leaders. The University of Rochester will be visiting reservations in the region to let students know about the education opportunities at the university. The school also plans to take steps to make the campus more inviting for those who may begin to enroll there. They may include developing clubs and activities that appeal specifically to Native Americans. This past spring, the university became affiliated with College Horizons, a national organization that supports higher education for Native Americans. Tony Reyna, Tahoe's Pueblo, has been chosen as the recipient of the 7th Annual Spirit of the Herd Award. The ceremony will be held on October 1st in the Steel Auditorium at the Herd Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. During the ceremony, Reno will be presented with traditional gifts and a cash award, and his photograph will be installed with other recipients of the award at the west entrance of the Steele Auditorium. Each year, the Heard Museum Board of Trustees honors an individual who has demonstrated personal excellence, either individually or as a community leader. The spirit of the Heard Award reinforces the mission of the museum, which is to educate the public about the heritage and living arts and cultures of Native peoples. For more information, you can check out herd.org. Montana State University will offer two online graduate courses in Native American Studies beginning August 30th. Indigenous Nations of Montana traces the history and complexity of Indian law, covering treaties, water rights, natural resources, development, and tribal businesses. American Indian Arts Survey will also be offered this fall. The course will explore the function and purpose of the visual arts of North American indigenous peoples by culture area in both past and in present. The course will look at the overlapping context of culture area politics, cosmology, religion, spirituality, and gender. For more information on the courses, you can visit Montana State University at http colon forward slash forward slash edu dot montana dot edu forward slash online. Select Online Courses and then Native American Studies. Fadeen Swift Eagle Johnson wears many hats which include painter, photographer, dancer, caregiver, and professional boxer. On August 14th, Johnson of African American and Native American heritage fought at Santa Ana Star Casino in New Mexico and won by unanimous decision against Nancy Bonilla. Johnson is now 6-0 with five knockouts. And with this win, Johnson going the distance for the first time, went home with six featherweight belts ranging from Women's International Boxing Association, Native American Boxing, Association, Native American boxing Council, Global Boxing Union, Women's Professional Boxing Association, Women's International Boxing Committee, and WIBU Intercontinental. The fifth annual Cherokee Art Market will feature more than 130 elite Native American artists from across the nation on October 9th through the 10th. The finest Native American artwork representing many different tribes will be displayed and sold including beadwork, pottery, painting, basketry, sculptures, and textiles. In addition, guests will enjoy a variety of cultural performances and the art tour of Tulsa. The International Cherokee Film Festival will be running simultaneously on October 9th. Both events will be held at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma. For more information, you can visit internationalcherokeefilmfestival.com or cherokeeartmarket.com. On September 25th, 
the Frisco Native American Museum and Natural History Center will participate in the sixth annual Museum Day presented by Smithsonian Magazine. On Museum Day, selected cultural institutes and museums nationwide open their doors free of charge to Smithsonian Magazine readers and Smithsonian.com visitors. Attendees must present Smithsonian Magazine's Museum Day admission card to gain free access to participating institutions. The Museum Day admission card is available in the September issue of the Smithsonian Magazine, and a downloadable version is available at Smithsonian.com website. For more information on Frisco Museum, you can go to NativeAmericanMuseum.org. Pop artist Jana Mashoni recently released her first book, American Indian Story, The Adventures of Shakona, co-written by Stephen Gothis, her longtime co-writer of her songs, producer, manager, and business partner. The Adventures of Shakona is based on Jana's Grammy-nominated album, American Indian Story, and tells about a young Native girl connecting with her ancestors and the young Shakona. A percentage of the book sales will go to Jana's Kids, which is Jana's foundation that awards scholarships to young adults to further their education. For more information, you can check out janamashoni.com. And that's the latest roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.